question. Hey everyone, if you'd like to try out Filmora and start creating amazing videos, check the link in my description. That's where you can download Filmora directly. Don't miss it. Welcome, drag a picture to the timeline, right click, and choose crop to fit so it fills the screen. After that, click to add a keyframe on transform. Then, scale it up to 140, set position X to 383, and position Y to minus 78 so that the picture moved to the right as shown. Now, move the playhead to the end, then add a keyframe to transform. This time, only adjust position X by adding minus to 383 so the picture shifts to the left as shown. Next, go up to Effects and search for Vignette White. Drag it down. Then, search and drag down Large White Flare. After that, add the Black and White Noise effect. Go back again and drag down Shadow Overlay 12. Finally, search for Old Slideshow Pack Overlay 02, drag it down, then click on it and reduce the opacity to 40 as shown. Then Preview. Now, go to Media and drag down the same picture you used earlier. Click on it and scale it down to 80. Then, go to Effects, search for Border, and apply it. After that, click on the effect and adjust the border size to 5 and the blur to 1 as shown. Now, go back to Effects, search for Noise Map, and apply it to the picture above as shown. Now, click to add a keyframe on Transform, then set Position X to minus 315 as shown. Now, move the playhead to the end and go up to add a keyframe on Transform. Go to Position X and remove the minus from 315. Next, click the graph icon on the picture, hold the control key, and select both key points for Position X. Right-click and choose Bezier Curve, then apply Curve Animation. After that, scroll down and click the icon again to minimize the graph, then Preview. Now click on the picture, go up and scroll down to apply drop shadow. Change the shadow color to black. After that, select all, right click to copy, then move the playhead to the end, select track one and paste as shown. Now go up to media and drag down another picture twice as you hold the alt key to replace the pictures as shown. Next, click the picture on track 1. Select the first keyframe point, then add minus to 383 in position X. After that, select the second keyframe point and remove the minus from 383. Now scroll up to the picture above and click on it. Select the first keyframe point, then remove the minus from 315. Next, select the second keyframe point and add a minus to 315, so the animation moves in the opposite direction. Now, select All and right-click to copy. Move the playhead to the end, select Track 1, and right-click to paste. After that, go to Media and drag down the same picture twice. Hold the Alt key to replace the pictures on each row of the timeline as shown. Now select each column one by one and right-click to apply Compound Clip until the last one. Then, go to the left and delete the empty tracks as shown. At the end, you should have four clips. Lastly, go up to Transitions and search for Explosion Flash. Drag it down and apply it in between the clips as shown. Then, click on the first transition, go up and set its duration to three seconds and apply the same to all. Finally, preview your work. Thanks for watching. 
The template link for this tutorial is in the description, along with the download link for Filmora. Have a wonderful day.